Professor Richard Furno from Victoria University's Ferrier Institute has generated tens of millions of dollars for the New Zealand economy over the past 25 years. My research team is a group of chemists and what we come up with is new chemicals that have new properties. We protect those discoveries with uh, patents. So that turns out to be largely pharmaceuticals, but it also is agrochemical products and it also is industrial polymers. Because we're after patent protection for what we do, that means we have to have been the first in the world to th think of it and the first in the world to have put it into practice. So we're kind of at the leading edge of whatever we do. He is known in New Zealand and, and more broadly, well and truly, as being leading an, a world-class team. He also has the ability to engage really, really well with industry, not just with industrial partners, with it, but with the investor community as well. What businesses need are new products, and they need new products where they have a competitive advantage. Part of our success has been that we've connected well now with investors and people that want to take these products forward. If something comes from Richard or one of his team members, well, it's going to be well researched, well thought out, um, they're likely to have an intellectual property position, they're going to be realistic about what it takes to get something out to market and what they're going to need to do and what their role is. Richard's scientific nous and entrepreneurial spirit has inspired many to take up the challenge of commercialising scientific discoveries, potentially generating millions for the New Zealand economy. Because it's not just about looking at his track record, which is incredible, but it's looking at the influence that he has, and I think the influence he has is, is really wide-ranging. So he's not only doing this himself, he's inspiring his scientists, he's inspiring the next generation. We're trying to create more value in New Zealand from what we do, and to have much more of the value chain in New Zealand before the product has to go off to market in the world. Generating wealth for New Zealand, that's what he's really well known for, and his reputation stands behind him on that.